It really is a happy coincidence that we're having the World Police and Fire Games at the exact same time that we're announcing the Olympic Games in LA in 2028. You're obviously a pretty big boxing fan as well. We've seen you here just about every night. Well, I, I love boxing, and I love the heart of the sport. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not a, uh, I've never boxed, uh, and I don't, uh, I'm not a, a big follower of the sport normally. But when I see these guys and ladies out here giving their all, you know, and, and it's such a tough, tough thing to do in front of all your family and friends. And, and as you see, not everybody gets to win. And I've been impressed, and I'm sure you have been as well, to see the support the fans show for these athletes in these games. Oh, absolutely. You know, every we all relate. Every every one of us. You know, no matter where you're a cop, whether you're a cop in Singapore or a cop in Los Angeles, you know, you you have the same challenges, so we relate to each other. You're certainly welcome to stay with us for this bout. It's Bembridge and Shanklov. Shanklov from Russia. Bembridge, very good fighter from the UK, 147 pound intermediate division. Each of these fighters uh, making their first appearance this week. Let's see what they have to offer. Some quick action in the early goings, though. Shank Love in the blue corner. And we have Bembridge in red. Gold medal at stake. Again, a, a rousing night of boxing. 26 gold medal matches presented tonight by Live Play Sports, along with Golden Boy Promotions. In the 2017 World Police and Fire Game. Charlie, if you have a comment about either of these fighters, feel free. Well, you know, I, I we'll, we'll see what kind of blow-by-blow -blow announcer you are. <laughs> I will give you this, we have a huge contingent from Russia. We have almost 300 athletes from Russia, including this fighter, and they have they are some tremendous competitors. Well, he's able to score there, a right-left combination. They were glancing blows for Shanklov. What about Shanklov? He is determined, that facial expression, it's stone-faced. These are two serious fighters. Jack Pembridge of the UK. Now, this is our second all-European bout we've seen tonight. Saw it a very good one a couple of bouts ago with uh, Jordan Lewis. Very aggressive and kind of similar styles coming out quickly. Charlie, what do you want people to say about these games when they're all said and done and someone comes up to you and says what'd you think well you know what what i would love people to think is, is to show the heart of los angeles you know uh, to uh, to be able to showcase so that we can have a world-class athletic competition here in this city and build successfully and keep them safe is really important you know we we just had the Special Olympics uh, this past year, you know, which is a huge undertaking and, a, and, and actually about the same size as the World Peace and Fire Games, which has over 8,000 competitors. So, you know, showing that we can do this and obviously we can do the Olympics. Thank our sponsors, Everlast and 511. Supporting these games, supporting our shows. And we are thrilled to be with you on Live Play Sports for these games. So, both these fighters looking to take a foothold, build some momentum. Second of three rounds. Bembridge with a nice wide hand. Shanklov clearly the way. Wild with some of those blows for the man in blue. She had those punches, more of a roundhouse look to him. Whereas Bembridge, more of a direct attack, more fluid with his throw, those punches. 
the jab in and able to follow it up with the right hand and moves the Russian fighter into the ropes. And both men kind of doing a nice job staying away from the ropes in this particular bout. Yeah, these are accomplished boxers. You can see they're both looking for an opening, calculating the next move. It'll be a tough one for the judges to score because it's a tight match. And we're looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. Charlie Beck's with us, the police commissioner, and thrilled that he's with us here in Los Angeles at the LA Convention Center. He's enjoying the boxing match and a good throw there, although that punch just glanced off of Bembridge, thrown by the Russian fighter Shanklov from the Russian National Police. I have to appreciate all the volunteers that have helped out, not only at the boxing venue, but throughout the city of Los Angeles and around Southern California. Well, we have, and we have actually hundreds and hundreds of volunteers to help put this together. We never were able to do it without them. I also want to point out what a great show we have. So we have a big screen. We've got you guys covering the line. We've got a great ring provided by Austin and Ahoy here. You know, a really, really first class effort was made to make sure that all these athletes that travel from around the world on their own time, on their own dime, get a, get a good experience out of it, you know? So you can imagine uh, packing your bag and coming all the way from Russia to fight here in L.A. It's a pretty big trip. Yep, no question about it. Some kudos to Live Play Sports. They put up a giant jumbotron for everybody to watch the fights in-house. So the fans here really get a bird's eye view. They can look down on the canvas into the ring or they can look up on a giant screen above and catch the replays or watch the fight on the screen. So thank you, Live Play Sports, for making that available to these fans in attendance to watch these fights. And the two fighters are going at it. In a very close bout into the third round between Bembridge of the UK and Shanklov of Russia. Shanklov in the blue. It's going to be a hard one, Darren, to score. Point down, Jack. Come on. No lack of stamina, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but these men with really good feet and good movements and uh, very disciplined. So, yeah, this one's uh, likely coming down to another decision. Bembridge has the better form, but the Russian fighter Shankar battles. Determination, the heart of this Russian fighter is obvious. Because Bembridge systematically fights better, has a better understanding of how to deliver a blow. But the toughness of Shanklov could sway it toward him. Waiting moments of this championship bout in the intermediate 147 pound division. Final 10 seconds here. So about one final push. And end up in a close as this fight ends. Close to see. I've been joined by Police Chief Charlie Beck, and thanks so much for coming on, all your great work, and the uh, city of LA owes you a lot. Well, my pleasure, and I want to thank you guys for covering this. I want to thank my red police, too. They do a great job. They come out to all our police and fire matches. You know, we do one in the city hope every year. And they uh, referee everyone. They take good care to make sure all these uh, these heroes stay safe out there. Charlie, thanks a lot. My pleasure. Thank stay you. Safe. Thank you. Well, there, this is going to be another interesting decision in the ring. It's in doubt. I don't know that either fighter feels comfortable at this moment. Yeah, that was a nice, actually, final 10 seconds. I thought both boxers making one final push, but it was it's very just one of those. Uh, 
feel each other out and then throw, wait for your opportunity and, and uh, some good dancing around out there and some nice jabs and hooks and not sure how it's gonna play out decision wise, but Chris Ercolano, who by the way, very good police sergeant himself, a ring announcer, and uh, he's been giving us all the verdicts all week. This is Let's right? <laughs> find out who won that fight. Yeah. Especially in those uh, closing seconds, I thought, to round three. And again, he didn't yeah. have the better four. Yeah. Bembridge did, but Shankloff fought through that. His determination, his will to win gets him a gold medal. Great applause there for Bembridge, who has nice skills. Disappointed, losing a close match, but again the camaraderie always there. And you'll love to see the sportsmanship. The Russian is the gold medalist. This venue is very well run there. It's yes. Very fluid the way they move these fights. Yes. In and out. Yeah, in fact, uh and there's the bell for the next uh, match already. And it, it's about the same amount of time after each bout as uh, after each round. You know, it's it's very impressive how this uh, how this has been moving and lot, obviously lots to get through, a lot of solid action. Thank all of our.